G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Military Combat Rifle. This is a highly, and I do mean highly, customizable standalone weapon that hails from the Junkland Firearms mod there. So basically, many of these weapon customizations will be reusing and recycling vanilla game assets, as you can see right here, that's an SMG4 grip there, and a pistol grip on a combat rifle, I'll just point that out because that's awesome. Yeah, that's actually a handmade rifle piece from the Nuka World DLC, which is pretty good. So we'll get into these attachments. First of all, for the receivers, you've got the standard receivers, and the standard receivers actually fire rifle rounds. Um, yeah, I feel like that's um, kind of what's supposed to happen, but for some reason Bethesda made this thing shoot 45s instead, maybe because of balance reasons, but if you're feeling a little bit nostalgic for those 45s firing out of your combat rifle, you can actually change the receiver to that. And that'll actually shorten the receiver length a little bit too, which is actually really good attention to detail. You've also got a 308 um, the receiver there, a 50 if you feel like it, and some shotgun receivers too, which is really, really cool. But we'll go for a 50 cal receiver because I cannot resist making this thing as overpowered as I possibly can. Now for the barrels, there is actually so many barrels that I'm just going to scroll through them slowly. Basically, you've got the junk barrels then the short ones which are normal and the type 2 so they're usually the type 1s or they're not called type 1s but you get what I mean have the SMG um, foregrips to them and the type 2s have the combat shotgun slash rifle foregrip you've also got the long barrels there and the heavy barrels which actually contain assets from the hunting rifle which is great the porter barrels look more like the combat shotgun with that ported top along the barrel heavy barrels more of that good um, hunting rifle goodness and that one's obviously another porter barrel, but longer. Very good. And last but not least, you've got the electromagnetic induction barrel. And um, yeah, acceleration of bullets by electromagnetic induction greatly increases damage. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're not going to put this one on that one because I feel like it's going to make it too overpowered. But we'll make a Gorse military combat rifle indeed. For now, I'm feeling like this could go well with, I'm gonna, I like that long heavy barrel, hell yeah, that looks pretty cool. We'll move on from that. Now for the stocks, it's much less the same thing, you've got a minimized little stock there, is that a hunting rifle stock maybe? Yeah, you've also got a um, gorse rifle stock there, which is great, marksman stock, looks more like a um, assault rifle stock of some description. Um, I would say that's the recoil compensating stock, but it's not It's not all there. There seems to be a little bit stuff missing, so maybe that's a cut asset. I'm not actually familiar with that one, or maybe it's an assault rifle scope, um, considering that grip there. Anyways, there's another recoil compensating stock. There's another one with the um, gorse rifle default butt stock there, and there's also some junker pipe ones if you feel like it. Some straight stocks. There's so many stocks. Stock, 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 stocks. We're going to go for a gorse one because the gorse one is awesome. I love my gorse rifle. Next up, we've got the sights, which um, contain a whole bunch of scopes. This one's a little bit less expansive, but there's actually a prototype smart bullet system. So yeah, interesting. We won't actually put that on for now. I actually have to gather these um, things by the um, console commands. We'll give ourselves a nice reflex sight to go along with this, and then we'll move on. Now for the muzzles, we're obviously going to put a suppressor on, but there's two types of suppressors we can choose from, either the skinny one or the thick boy. Hmm, this is a hard choice. I like the aesthetics of that one. There's also a rifle grenade launcher, which means the mountable frag grenades. Hmm, I'll have to try that out later. And there's also an underbarrel shotgun there, which is absolutely awesome. We can't actually attach that um, properly. There's nothing to really hold it on, but we'll definitely get a underbarrel um, shotgun on one of our military combat rifles that we'll take in the Gunners Plaza with us. Now for the magazine, since we're using a 50 cal, we're going to actually have to use a large caliber drum to give us the best capacity there. So it's a little bit limited with some of these receivers, but we'll just go for the large quick eject drum there. Very good. 30 round magazine. I guess that makes sense for 50 cals. They're quite big bullets. And last but not least, we've got the legendary effects if you feel like it. I'm actually feeling like I should put a scope on this now, seeing as this is going to be my sniper on this, so we're going to do that. We'll just go for a short scope there. That doesn't need to be too complicated. And that is our military combat rifle in all of its glory. Kind of looks like a wacky weapon there, but yeah, we'll, ga we'll gather a few more of these, take them into Gunners Plaza, because it's actually quite a lot to look at. 
Okay, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza. We're going to go ahead and snipe this place up using our 50 cal that we created in the first little section. And then we'll get to some of the more modular weapons where you can actually change the uh, attachments on them on the fly or change the, the way you fire the thing. So this is what we look like in first person. I'll show these things in third person when we get inside into the light but for now we'll just go ahead and shoot these gunners from the safety of our suppressor there now as you can tell the recoil compensating from this stock is too good um to the point where it actually pushes the muzzle down when you fire which is um what i'm used to so my aim might be a little bit thrown off by this and for some reason we didn't actually shoot the target while aiming at there maybe there's a little bit of inherent spread but anyways it's overpowered if we batch these two targets we'll take them out very very easily indeed yep That'll do just fine. So we'll just go ahead and sneak away and um, make sure we don't go into a sprint so we can actually test out another weapon. So to get these things working again, you need only one in your inventory at once. That one's got the grenade launcher on that. We'll leave that one for later. That one's one just a basic SMG. I think we'll use that inside. I feel like that's appropriate because it's an SMG for close range. Anyways, this one is going to be an unsuppressed one. So everyone's going to go apeshit as soon as we start firing it. So let's just make the first one a good one. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot it was automatic. That's fine. So this one's using the 308 automatic receiver. Also, did somebody say Big Iron? Did anyone else see that massive revolver that um, that gunner had? And as we go ahead and burst fire some of our bullets there, um, the recoil on this thing is pretty much nothing. But, um, yeah, as soon as you get detected and uh, into the range of... Ooh, we actually crippled both of our legs. Um, yeah, um, the thing doesn't p perform um, quite as well as some vanilla weapons. We're only hitting just over 100 damage if we're lucky. So yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, because we've actually got a little bit of a quirk on the barrel as we go ahead and uh, finish off that one. No, screw reloading the main bun. We'll bring out our combat shotgun. And the way you switch that is just to... Um, you just got to hit the bash key um, and it'll change it on the fly. As you can tell, it still reloads the um, main weapon when you do that, which is a limitation and the modder has actually acknowledged that. But as you can tell, the combat shotgun on the bottom of this is a little bit on the weak side. So we'll just drop this here. Hopefully nobody picks it up. Or maybe if they do pick it up, they'll switch to the uh, one without the, um, or just the shotgun. So it won't hit as hard. Anyways, this is going to be our one with the, um, oh yes. Okay, there's no fire rate limitations for the semi-autos anyway. So yeah, that's, you can just get crazy rate of fires if you can line these gunners up like that, especially in slow motion. But anyways, let's switch to that grenade launcher. All you need to do, hit the old key, game, let the game process for a second, it removes a frag grenade, and you can fire that just like that. And as soon as you do fire it, you go back to your um, basic shooty weapon, which is pretty good. As you can tell, this thing is going to be nice and fat. So we've got a reflex sight on that, so it's going to be a little bit reinforced by that. So we'll pop a crit in this gunner's face. And then we'll finish him off with a little bit of overkill. So there's a frag grenade on it. And a crit to you. In comes the frag. Down you go. And we get a little bit of rag dolling with the bodies too. That's fun. And one more frag grenade over there. And we managed to hit the ones that weren't exactly the ones we're aiming for. But we still got the damage. Whilst we're in nerd rage and our health or now um, damage taken is a little bit less. I just got to find out where I put the rest of my guns. We've got the SMG there. We'll leave that for now. But that Gorse one, I want to actually try that out. So we'll quickly pick that up. And now we have it. So this one's actually got the um, seeking bullet on the top. But for some reason, I've got no ammo for this. Maybe I'll have to actually try this later. But when we've got the gorse thing, we've only got one bullet in it, which um, only does 174 damage. Yeah, I'm not really keen on that. So I think the one I want to go to again is probably that suppressed sniper that I had at the start. So we'll bugger off that one. We might come back to it later and um, see if it can do better this time. And now it is our time to not die. We're back into caution. So we can probably lay waste to these guys very, very easily. We'll just chain together some bat shots for efficiency. Oh, we're going to get four. That kind of sucks, but never mind. We should be well hidden by the time we're killed these gunners. Hiding in the bushes there. No, it is. There we go. It came back. Oh, 5,000 damage on that gunner with a stack sneak attack crit. Oh, there's another big iron. Very good. Okay, so if you really want to make this thing an effective sniper, give it a good scope too because you can absolutely wreck people there's another big iron everyone's playing new vegas and gunners plaza lately i suppose and they're into those big ass revolvers okay there's one more up there we'll just quickly get rid of them 
as easy as that. And then we'll go ahead and take out this last one here, except not in bats. We'll just aim at them ourselves there. And we'll take out the rest of them with an SMG, I think. We'll actually bring that out now since we're going into close quarters up on top of that roof. Okay, on the approach now, we've got um, some third-person viewing so we can actually see if we're being cornered or not. That kind of sucks that we're now back into hidden, but we're actually going to get some health back. So if we can push above that 20% gate, we can go into Nerd Rage once again. But I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. There's just some shacks down there that some gunners like. I think I've already drawn them out, so it should just be a relative straight shot up to here. And, okay, there's one there. Yeah. We'll just take him out in a hail of bullets. And I just shot those ones next to him to intimidate him. That's just not because my aim is poor. Perish the thought. Oh, so that one's sleeping. Um, have you ever noticed there's somebody shooting up all of your people? Okay, they've definitely noticed now as they leisurely get up from the bed. And oh, looks like the SMG isn't doing that well. But the rate of fire is nice. So if you want to pop on a legendary effect to really make this thing go then yeah, that's probably useful. Also, I'm seeming to be getting basically zero sneak attack criticals with this, which kind of sucks. Never mind. Maybe inside we'll have a little bit more luck, but hang on. Got a couple more to kill here, do we? Well, let's see if we can get some sneak attack crits on these guys. We should be doing pretty good with a SMG with um, bats there. There's some sneak attack criticals. Hmm. And some bad collisions, or maybe bad aim, who knows. Okay, put me into nerd, oh, never mind. I was, I was gonna demand them to put me into nerd rage so I can gun them down like that. And look at all those shells there, that's great. That's some good attention to detail. There's actually mods that keep these things around for ages, and that would just slow down your system, so I would not recommend doing that. But if you're one of those immersion freaks, then that's probably a good choice. Anyways, we'll get into Gunner's Plaza for real, and we'll see if we can shoot up the interior a little bit better than we did out here with the submachine gun. Okay, now that we're in some better light, let's have a look at these things in the old third person. So this is the SMG, if we just tilt the camera around there. Looks a, like a pretty neat little gun. I think that's the same animations from the submachine gun as a base anyway. Just, you know, um, change from grab that damn mag mod. If we move on, this is what our shotgun looks like. We'll be using that when shit hits the fan and we get detected in here. Number three, this is our gorse thing. Looks pretty cool. I think the mod um, actually puts those things on pretty well. And I think the um, seeking scope actually sort of um, suits that look and feel of the thing. Anyways, this is our underbarrel shotgun one. That's probably one of my personal favorites. That's why it's the thumbnail. And this is that one with the grenade launcher attachment. Don't worry about the hand thing. Phoebe can use the force. And this is the sniper one that we use in the... Um, first part and to the best effect in that little first section there. Anyways, we'll go back to our SMG. You know what? We'll keep ourselves in third person because I like the um, being able to view around you. I used to do this a lot on PS4, but not too much anymore, um, especially on the PC where I can actually sort of focus on my aim better, but maybe I should do a little bit more of this. I also like aiming in third person when the um, sights are constrictive too. That usually helps me. Anyways, so so far so good. We've managed to sneak attack crit anything that's coming around at us. And these turrets haven't blind fired at me yet, but they probably wish they did at this point. Okay, so now we just have to figure out how to kill these guys without being spotted. Yes, even with the sneak attack criticals, we're only getting like 150 damage with this, which is kind of interesting. Also, you've got a weapon, which is making a curious sound. What is that? That's just another Beretta gun. Very good. All right, so we've got the shotgun out. Just like the other semi-auto things, this thing has no limits to the fire rate other than how fast you can uh, pull the trigger. And since I'm using a mouse, I can click pretty damn fast. So I'm pretty sure we'd... Ooh, you've had a lot of 38 specials on you. Interesting. But yes, as you can tell, if you can get up really close and land all of those pallets, you can actually do a really good job taking out these guys, even though you're doing less damage than a standard shotgun um, or combat shotgun ought to do, which is kind of interesting. And if we get into Nerd Rage, we'll be shooting even more blazing fast. Hello, Captain Bridget. It is time for you to get eaten by a submachine gun and vats. Let's just see how well this does. 
49. Looks like that small increase that we get from concentrated fire um, did a little, did a little bit for us, but not too much. We'll quickly get out our shotgun and mow her down from that. Reload here at bats and uh, make sure we actually hit him this time. That'd be good. I think it's time for nerd rage. Okay, and we're not allowed to use um, fast uh, slow motion on this occasion, which kind of sucks. We still get all the damage benefits, so we can mow these guys down at a very fast rate anyways, so that's good. You're seeing a little bit of real-time nerd rage, which is very glitchy. I wish they'd kind of fix that, because I definitely prefer when most of my nerd rages are in slow motion, but whatever. Okay, slipping out of danger now, which is good. This one doesn't seem to be aware. Um, probably in a caution state that didn't allow us to get sneak attack crits, but we mowed him down regardless thanks to a little bit of nice stagger. We'll quickly go around here and finish off the rest. Wow, Captain Bridget really messed me up that time. She almost had a crack. She almost did it, but no. Too late for her. She's already dead. Now, I'm noticing the recoil on this is a little bit more, um, wild, which is kind of nice. It makes the submachine gun feel more like a submachine gun. You're just basically firing pistol bullets as fast as you can you know, at a small target, which generally is what happens with a submachine gun, really. At least that's what video games told me. I've never actually fired a real gun in my entire life. Fired a Nerf gun once, though. Mm, you know, gave me PTSD. Like that dude who shot an AR-15 and got PTSD. Just kidding, I'm not that much of a soft cock. Anyways, that was the uh, SMG and shotgun variants of the... Uh, military combat rifle in Gunners Plaza. It was going well there until Captain Bridget showed up, but still did very well. We'll fix up the Gorse one and have a look at that. Okay, so it turns out there's no magazines for the Gorse gun, and the um, smart ammo has a different sort of actual ammo type to it. So if I open my Pip-Boy, yeah, we're using smart bullets now. So um, yeah, how to see how smart they are. We don't seem to lock on like we would with a missile, and that is because um, I, I guess the projectile is still whatever it is as a bullet. So I'm going to say that the Gauss rifle, um, military combat rifle, it's a bust. I wouldn't use it. Anyway, so this one's got the instigating thing that's pretty much useless now, and we've also got an explosive one. Now, I'm actually wondering whether the explosive will be actually transferred to the shotgun if we go ahead and chuck that on. So we're just quickly... Oh, yes it is. And we can just keep on spamming that shotgun from ages away. And he'll have no idea that we're here. So that's nice. We'll quickly switch over to our regular one. Do we have normal bullets? Let's just let it load up for a second. Yep, looks like it's transferred to both your underbarrel shotgun and your um regular gun, which is actually kind of good. And that actually gives us some actual good damage out of whatever shotgun we have. I'm guessing wounding would be very good too. So yeah, if you're looking to spruce this thing up with a few legendary effects, then yeah, that's a definite thing you can do. Not really um, too unexpected, but yeah, pretty decent. Swan's on his last legs now. I think we can call it a video after we've killed him, but hopefully he doesn't try to kill us too hard. Okay, he's gone for a rock first instead of the old charge at me, which is kind of good. We'll just quickly pop one once more in his face, and that should pretty much do him in. Not quite. There we go. And then we get crushed by Swan because his dead body is falling on us. I wonder if there's a mod that actually allows you to get crushed by giant monsters. Oh, and an idiot savant punk on his death, and god damn. There's, I guess there's some victory music courtesy of the perk chart there. So, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the description. I've seen that this thing is on Xbox One as well as PC, which is nice. So, links will be there too. Also, I'll have the Phoebe Companion mod, which is a character that I am playing now. Cool last level jacket not included. But yeah, she'll be in the description too. Thank you very much for watching, guys.